right, guess who got stuck? It wasn't me. Hey guys, Curtis here, Midwest Farm and Land. Excited to announce just a new purchase here. All right, we'll see how good I did here. Right, uh, just a quick weekend vlog here you see what's missing in the shop that's the new chisel plow disc it's ready to go but it's looking like we might get some rain uh, at least they got it out ready to roll they're sharing out in the boat having fun I love to see her I love seeing her uh, enjoying the outdoor she's like a little kid these last year or two. I mean, she's got a stressful job and it's been a very, very stressful road to get us here. And I pushed like really, really, really hard. And I know she was out of her comfort zone a lot, but now that we're here and we have everything locked in place, it's just really good to see her really start enjoying the, the beauty of it all for what I had envisioned and both of us had envisioned getting here, so. All right, let's go rescue Mrs. Capper. She got stuck in a lawnmower all the way at the end of the driveway. It's about a mile. At least she had her phone with her, so that's good. Alright, guess who got stuck? And it wasn't me. That's right, Sharon got stuck in the uh, Zero Turn Hustler, the riding mower. So, guess who's got to rescue her? The Knight in Shining Armor. And of course, she's at the very farthest place. She's at the end of the driveway, which is about a mile run. All right, the time has come to get this beast of a disc chisel harrow out of my shop and start cutting ground with it. If not today, it'll be really soon, but I got to get it out of here. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. We've got a lot of ground to cover in the last few weeks, but this is Snake Road down here in Southern Illinois. Uh, I did do a hike with my friend and we saw a lot of snakes, but let me know in the comments if you want a full video on this or if it's just like, eh, it's kind of a dud. I found if you like poke around with your fingers, <laughs> you could find them that way. <laughs> just make sure you got your insurance card in your wallet. <laughs> okay so i took sharon's mower in uh, for more aggressive tires because the old tires couldn't handle the pond dam however uh boy how ironic that is that 
in this vlog I'm going to get her unstuck even with these new and more aggressive tires. Thank you God it without hurting anything. That's always good. Okay, and if you've been part of our channel life here, you'll know that we had a nesting Canada goose here. She had seven eggs. So the update vlog is coming out soon, but right now we're still a little concerned. Um, at this point, she's hatched six of the seven, but this is the third day of hatching, and she's actually tried to coax them off the nest several times now, and she couldn't get them out of that nest box. So we're not totally too concerned, but we're a little bit concerned right now because she's exhausted. She's been on the nest for three days straight. These little chicklets are starting to get hungry. So definitely stay tuned for the full um, conclusion of how the finishing goes on this uh, beautiful nature story. Hopefully we're going to have a happy ending. guys Curtis here Midwest Farm and Land excited to announce this a new purchase here the Coyote RX 6620 here at Little Tractor and Equipment I want to give a shout out to Justin Austin Ron and Josh here at Little Tractor for making this deal happen treat me fantastic uh, they carry a line of coyote tractors of all sizes mowers weed eaters all kinds of stuff definitely come check them out little tractor and equipment has three stores one in harrisburg marion illinois and paducah kentucky i also want to give a shout out to my buddy sean bailey from legions bank for helping on this purchase here make sure to check them guys out yep it's just starting to rain before i even got the toys put back away so Man, the rain just kills us in the spring. It really does. Cause you, but just about when you dry out, it gets wet again. And it needs three or four more days to dry out. And then it rains again. Because tomorrow we're supposed to go plant Curtis's eight acres. But if the ground gets wet tonight, we can't do that. Well, it started raining. Grizzling. So I might as well put this in the barn. I think I got enough room now. Got rid of the dump truck, got rid of the uh, power rig, sold that. Uh, both the uh, dump truck and power rig are going towards the upgrade to the new E42. Which, I'm trying to get another update on that and it's, they said now by the end of April and here we are in the third week in April. So we'll see. I. I got this icky feeling that they're gonna come back again and say another month. to come up yeah it must have washed out more than last it was last year okay the back end is in the ground so it just needs to go i need to keep going up oh oh yeah oh look at that i better not get too close <laughs> uh, he's not dormant is he brother no this one ain't too dormant 
them fangs. This is Mrs. Capper's, uh, this end now is becoming her storage of all her rustic wood and rehab stuff. are kind of spinning bottomed out back here. Just rained uh, yesterday or day before. too wet from the rain. Good enough for who it's for. Right, Clark? 